These are 10 concrete examples of exceptional individuals and organizations who envision a world where differences are valued and diverse societies prosper. I believe that all of us in this room share that vision. We must all be concerned, however, that this vision is not shared in many societies in which our recipients are working. We at the Centre are immensely proud to be able to support these recipients to continue to make the compelling cases they are making for pluralism in these challenging contexts. Whether building peace, enabling youth, or bridging divides, the award recipients are all committed to pursuing pluralism every day. This work is challenging, sometimes dangerous, and too often goes unnoticed and unrewarded, but not tonight. This evening we are honoring 10 remarkable organizations and individuals. Some have come from as far away as Myanmar. Others are working right here in Canada. Their areas of focus are diverse and include history education, music, political empowerment, and virtual exchange. Taken together, this outstanding group of recipients represents a new wave of leadership working around the world for a brighter future free of exclusion and division. The award should serve as a reminder that we can all take steps in both our personal and professional lives to foster a more positive and productive response to the changing diversity in our world. A more inclusive, understanding approach to diversity is needed more than ever today. The award offers examples to inspire how we take on that challenge. Pluralism is a fundamental principle of any democracy in which society accommodates and celebrates diversity. From the very beginning, my goal was to create a strong team, which would embody the principle of pluralism, appreciations of diversity, empathy, collaboration, trust. Fostering pluralism within one's immediate circle is the very first step before promoting across the wider society. You need a diverse team and a cohesive team when you set out to tackle complex ethnic, religious, cultural issues. I'm incredibly proud of the work achieved by the Center for Social Integrity team, and this award is a real testament to the dedications of the center. Does a little girl like me from Ghana not deserve to be a heroine in a book that can be loved by children all over the world? And that is the problem that my work seeks to address. Over the past 12 years, I've established several organizations focused on this singular goal, to find and identify African writers, give them the support that they need, make connections to publishing houses and publishing opportunities, and create beautiful books. Over that 12 years, we've identified thousands of writers and inspired them to create stories. We've connected them to publishing opportunities, and we've recently established a publishing house of our own to turn these books, these stories that we discover into beautiful books and to, and to come up with traditional and creative distribution ways to get these books into the hands of children across the continent and around the world. For years, a group of teachers, mostly from the soil of ex-Yugoslavia, is involved in a common goal. And that goal is to finally use history as a tool for reconciliation in the region and not to create further damage. Because of that, we started tackling some certain historical topics which can be seen as controversial. If history is a life teacher, then we should certainly learn through the example of the war of the 90s that in order to hear the voice of the ordinary people, history teaching has a duty to empower the new generation with multi-perspective approach because the war is the worst solution to any problem. War actually should not be a solution for anything. This is a world in which we're highly interested, but we're also deeply ignorant in terms of some of the dynamics that work and that have to be faced. And you and your colleagues uh, who are doing similar work in a wide range of fields across the world remind us of just uh, how much remains to be done and how many extraordinary people 
are changing circumstances step by step and issue by issue and we end book by book and uh, we want to uh, to to thank you